not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, this is Cannon Fodder by Sensible Software. I did a video of this several years ago, but then YouTube were being a bit funny about certain videos and they got funny about this one for reasons I can't quite grasp. So I, I took that video down and the, the hard drive I had it stored on has died. So here I am recording an, a, a, new, a new version, new playing of the game because, well I'm doing Amiga games at the moment. I love this. I absolutely love this. Come on, get on with it. Yay. Can't be bothered to watch all that. Want to play. Who do we have? Is that the helicopter missing the tail end? Kill all the enemy. Okay. Now, uh -huh. you can do a thing with this game, because I remember a little bit about, it's like, having played it before, I actually played this a lot back in the day, a hell of a lot, I sort of remember how to play it, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at it, though I am better than I am at uh, Sensible Soccer, I love Sensible Soccer, but my god I suck at it, what are they shooting at, I'm not telling them to fire, any, come out of there, bloody hiding, yeah, I remember some of the stuff you can do, like, okay, uh, ch change of, ah, uh, um, a slight tangent thought process going on here, I am in a position where I make video games and every, no I don't make video games, I make videos of video games and every once in a while the developers or people involved in those games see the videos and occasionally comment on them and occasionally subscribe to my channel and uh, who do you think I'm playing as right now? That there, that there is Stu Cambridge, he is the pixel artist who uh, I don't know if he's responsible for all or most or some of the graphics on this game. I'm pretty damn certain he's responsible for the c characters. Um, so Stu, <laughs> you're gonna die mate. Yeah, Stu is a, he, he's subscribed to my channel. He will probably see this. And uh, it is, to me, it's, it's, I consider myself privileged and, 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 and honoured to know that the person who did the graphics for this game is going to probably see this video and uh, maybe not thank me for getting him killed though he's still alive at the moment, well done. Obviously I do realise that he's just a graphical little sprite and not actually Stu Cambridge firing bullets across the screen. I'm sure he's not that violent really. Whatever. Yeah, it is good though when uh, the people involved in the making of the games actually see the videos. Though it can actually, it, it can be embarrassing at times because sometimes I've I've been known to slag off games and uh, and the developers have seen my videos and been most unhappy about it. And that can be that can be awkward actually um, because sometimes what I've said is justified and sometimes well it really isn't because. I'm not always fair. I mean, it's hard to be. You 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 can't give a uh, a balanced. That's the thing. They're they're expecting a balanced review, and this, these aren't balanced reviews mostly. I think I can be balanced about this game because I'm very familiar with it. But you know, you know how it works. You play something just straight off the bat. You don't know all the finer points, and uh, it's it's just. God, I could get sued by the Fine Brothers. It's just a reaction video. Um, but that's not always grasped by the people watching. What is that? Oh, you can bugger off. Yeah, so sometimes I say some things that upset some people and that can be embarrassing. But anyway. 
or at least awkward. And I'm loving this. I mean, it, it's... It can sometimes be tricky, actually, because you can get the little guys hiding in, in, the, in the shrubbery. And go into the forest and cut down the tallest tree with their herring. Um, yeah. But that's kind of the nature of jungle warfare anyway, I think. When people are hiding in the foliage, you are going to miss them. Who would have thought it realism in, in, in games with tiny little sprites? I think I'm doubling back on myself here. I don't need to go this way. I'm thinking, I've got other weapons as well as guns, haven't I? I've got grenades. Get out of the water. It's no time for a swim. Um, I forget that you've got these. Can you? I don't know. Not sure. Mm, oh, God. <coughs> Snuck up on me while I wasn't looking. Did I lose some? No, I didn't. That's good. Ah, oh, poor guy lying gutted in a tree. I'll take a pleasure in gutting you, boy. Yeah. Here we go. I know I'm not playing tactically here, I, I could split my team up and stuff. Can I blow that up? It looks like I could blow it up. But I don't remember. Ah! Have I... How do I log... Can I log grenades? Can't, can't remember. Maybe I have to... Maybe I haven't got any yet. Not not sure. How many are there in there? Oh, that looks like something I can grab. Oh, God. Come on. Where did he come from? I've lost people, haven't I? Oh, God. Do you're all on your own. Oh, and I've got grenades. Are you going to be a hero now? Can you? How do you lob grenades? Not like that. Space button? No. Ah, oh crap, you died. <laughs> I, I can't remember how to lob the grenades. I forgot. Oops. Anyway, that is cannon fodder. Buy Sensible Software on the Commodore Amiga. If you haven't played it, you should. It is bloody brilliant in, um, in the way that only games with tiny little sprites can be, really. Mm. Okay, thank you for watching. Ah, yes. So, I think the button that releases the hound to that subscribe button. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes, do subscribe.